Namaste, I am Safla Dital. I was awarded with Dr. Dubasu Chetri Swarda Padak in 47th Convocation of Tribune University for securing highest marks in international relations and diplomacy. Being a topper is like a roller coaster ride. It brings along a lot of recognitions, appreciations, and praises, but alongside it also brings a plethora of opportunities and it's very hard to constantly manage the nagging pressure like every time you perform or take an exam you have to outperform everybody else you're not just working for yourself or giving an exam for yourself you're also trying to constantly outperform everyone and if you do not then there is a level with you that always comes along and i think that's kind of pressurizing I was kind of expecting it because by the time my results were out, my coordinator had already informed me that I'll be winning gold medal and he was actually jumping with joy. When I first found out that I won the gold medal, I was very excited but I was also nervous and I was very happy to find out that it was me out of everybody else. It was a good experience. For this achievement, there's a big list. First, I'd like to start with my coordinator of IR. If I have to give a shout out, it would be Dr. Prof. Professor Dr. Kharge Kesi and obviously my mom and dad for celebrating my every achievements like they're on. I like to describe myself as somebody who lives in her head. Um, most of the times, I have constant outbursting or explosions of thoughts in my mind and I try to make those thoughts into reality. Usually my days are very packed from morning to evenings and if something is not there, I make sure that there is something. I'm kind of a resty person and you could maybe you could call me as somebody who has eyes on the stars and feet on the ground. I love reading books. It makes me feel like I'm transported to a different world without leaving the comfort of my own home. Besides reading, I also enjoy cooking, baking, though I am not good at it, dancing, journaling, having coffee conversations. About my academic background, I was a very bright student since my school days. I used to spend most of my time outside my classes and it would be mostly doing extracurricular activities like speeches, debates and quizzes and I would excel all of them mostly and I was also placed among top three in SLC so because of that I was awarded by a youth club in our locality. I also secured highest marks in my plus two and topped the college and then during bachelors it didn't work that way. I didn't top bachelors and fast forward to post graduation I topped international relations and diplomacy while I was also doing law. As a student, I was always loved and appreciated by my teachers and my friends and I was kind of famous among my seniors and my juniors because I used to help them out and take help from them. I used to make mental notes of how I would be advancing in the rest of the exams and I would talk to my seniors about them. I would be training my juniors and even during exams i would help i used to help them a lot my friends would normally i remember one incident when we used to be all seated in front of Peter and we used to discuss the concepts and notes and we would talk about it so i was quite a, i was quite loved my weakness is that i am an impulsive decision maker for short terms but cautious when it comes to long term commitments and my strength would be the same as I told earlier. I make impulsive decisions and I back up with hard work, which makes it turn out even good. So I like to say that my strength is I'm a persistent hard worker. I didn't face academic challenges because I was not an introvert, introverted and nerdy kind of student. I was sociable, I was appreciated by my friends, My teacher so I didn't have that kind of challenges but I had some other kind of challenges I'll tell you my story when I failed in transform for IR I didn't tell my parents that they only offered evening shift that ran till 8 p.m. so later when I had to tell them that the shift was till 8 p.m. they were quite angry with me and they wanted me to drop the course but I insisted on it and my brother and my father had to come every day to pick me up on a daily basis. So I like to say that long commute was one of the biggest challenges that I faced. 
Honestly, I was quite cynical about joining IR in the first place, but then I dived deep into the syllabus and realized that it was a multidisciplinary course that at one moment was talking about politics and at another moment it was talking about dining etiquettes and what to wear and what not to wear in a formal dinner. So I found out that the course was very multidisciplinary and offered in rich and depth content and that's what I liked about the course. Currently, I'm doing my master's in law in human rights and gender justice and I'm also working as a section officer for government of Nepal. So my certain plans would be to do good in whatever I'm doing, sharpen my skills related to my work and then I have future plans for exploring PhD opportunities abroad. Honestly, it requires a lot of hard work to find a balance in study and work. Some days study takes over while some days work takes over. However, I try to make sure that I'm persistent with whatever I'm doing. Before I suggest any study tips, I'd like to give a disclaimer that it is individual centric and what works wonderful for me might not even work for you. If I had to relate it with my personal experience, I would suggest that you first dive deep into the syllabus because whatever you need is always there in the syllabus. Then you might have a peer review with your friends, find journals and articles, browse the internet, discuss it with your teachers and organize. Organizing is the key. These days it is so hard to not get distracted by social media but do not let social media distract you. Rather put it to good use by following people and pieces that help you grow. So if I have to sum it up, the drill is to limit the focus and understanding the basics because if you're trying to memorize the advanced concepts and you cannot re-derive it when needed, then basically you are lost. So maybe just knowing the syllabus and limiting your focus on understanding the basics is the key. My suggestions to those who want to pursue IRD would be to skim the course content and syllabus before you join in and also know the areas of scope. For example, if your interest areas are law, research, civil service, then this is probably one of the best courses you'll find in Nepal. But if not, do not join. Also, do not submerge yourself in the textbooks. Go for internships, do volunteering, write articles and journals. And by the time you graduate, you'll not only have a degree, but also the skills that suit the job market. <laughs>